Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the rat card, uh, which is says somebody working against you behind your back. So just be aware there's a bit of deception going on around you there. Uh, you've got uh, the card below it is the barrel, which says you feel like something is lacking in your, is lacking in your life. Perhaps money, love, or uh, goals. So, you know, you're feeling a little bit maybe at odds with the circumstance that you're in. Something seems to be missing. And you are dealing with difficult people or people that are deceptive. Just be careful about that. Somebody's leaking information about you, uh, and so watch your back. You've got the spiritual development card here, which says spiritual development, or the torch, rather spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding coming in for you. So if the divine is sending you a lot of messages, and that is opening your eyes to a lot of you know things as well. So enlightenment coming in for you, but just know that there is somebody or whoever you're around is not for your best interest. So just watch your back. Keep your things to yourself. Keep your information to yourself. You've got the club over here, which says somebody will try to make you do something against your will. So somebody's trying to bully you into doing something that you don't want to do with that club card. You've got the money path over here. So money, a path to money is waiting for you to find it. So, you know, you are looking for uh, ways and means of actually improving your finances. And it looks like, you know, maybe a little bit of research uh, or that's what you've been looking for. The pathway is open. There's something that an opportunity that will be, make itself available for you to move forward. Now you've got uh, a dark man over here, so dealings or uh, relationships with a man with a dark complexion or dark hair. So somebody uh, that you're going to be dealing with soon. And the tower says solid foundation and success with effort. So you're going to have to work hard and build this tower, but you will be establishing very, very firm foundations. But just watch out for somebody not looking out for your best interests. And, you know, Taurus is a hardworking sign and you will be able to to achieve success. Also know that towers take a long time to build. Um, you know, this is not the tower of the tarot, this is a tower of solid foundation. They take a long time to build. So, you know, if it seems to be going slowly, it doesn't mean it's not going anywhere. It just means that, you know, sometimes things take a little longer uh, than most. And in order for you to build stability and, um, you know, achieve really uh, good results in the future sometimes you need to take it a little slowly uh, before you can achieve that success but the success will come with the hard work so those are the energies for that uh, week so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Mona Lisa Tarot Okay. So at the bottom, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So this is about you getting your financial independence. It looks like some kind of offer coming in as far as money goes that's going to give you that edge and it's going to give you, uh, you know, there's money coming in and it's going to give you financial independence, allow you to be, uh, uh, you know, um, not dependent on anybody else. This could be in the form of news. Maybe there's a job offer coming in for you uh, that you've been waiting for. It. So receiving it with open arms over there, uh, something that you've been waiting for, but some money coming in for you and giving you that stability. Now, uh, what's happening with you? You've got the Three of Cups uh, over here and you've got uh, the Two of Cups. So there's a relationship that you're in that you're very, very unhappy in and you might need to abandon it and move away from it with that Three of Cups. You can see she's leaving this baby at this door over here and walking away and it looks like, you know, there's Two of Cups in this particular deck. They're very unhappy with each other, very suspicious. There looks like there might be a lot of arguments going on. Maybe somebody has an addiction within that relationship, but it looks like, uh, you know, a need to actually abandon abandon things and move on, uh, you know, see it in a different circumstance and move on. So maybe abandoning that relationship in order for you to move on and make progress. You've got the Ten of Swords. There was something very difficult that you went through. This could have been a legal ending to something. Uh, you know, you could have ended a work contract. It could have been... Um, you know, it's about contracts, it's about swords, it's about legal matters. This could have been a divorce. Um, you know, not all the facts were revealed to it. There was a lot of things going on behind the scene that you didn't know. This is the card of, you know, it's a devastation card, really. And it's also about a lot of vindictive behaviors, being stabbed in the back, uh, nobody taking your side. 
uh, you know, people against you, really. And there could have been some kind of legal matter where people employed, uh, you know, really deceptive means in order to win. You've got the Ace of Swords over here. So you are now focusing on your work and uh, being very precise. Whatever you're doing, you're an expert at. You're working very, very hard at it. Uh, you know, you can see this person's planning and cutting and very, very focused. You're learning a lot as well on that particular job. With this particular Ace of Swords, it's about being victorious, but it's also about being very, very focused, very precise, and very, very logical uh, within that particular job you're doing. So this is what you've been doing uh, recently. This is also, if you were, you know, in a legal battle, it looks like you're coming out, you've got a new plan, a new strategy, and this is how you're moving forward. Now, you've got the Four of Pentacles over here, still trying to hang on a little bit to things, uh, you know, from the past. Uh, maybe, you know, if you're running down the lane and a bull is chasing you, you might need to abandon that particular bag or sack of of uh, this is coins and move on so you could be in a work circumstance where there's a lot of aggression that is going on and maybe because the job is paying so well you don't want to leave it but you know if your life uh, this man's life is being threatened by this bull it's in his best interest to actually abandon that sack of money and move forward you might have to give up this particular job and move forward into something that is better something that is more calm uh, something that you um, are happy doing because it seems like that's what's happening here maybe a need to actually give up that particular job or that uh, you know you had a lot of hopes for this particular thing because you're so unhappy in it uh, you know and uh, maybe it's something that you're thinking of actually doing leaving it behind and moving forward even though maybe the pay is really good because she's carrying that uh, it is the four of pentacles and he is carrying that sack of coins, uh, but, you know, it, it seems like, you know, is all the drama really worth it? Is that, uh, that may be what you're asking yourself. So going into the future, so whatever problems you have, it's going to take a lot of mental discipline for you to uh, sort it out. You will be able to sort it out. This girl is levitating this cat here. So you're going to have to be very focused, very, very focused. There seems to be somebody giving you a helping hand and showing you the way with the strength card. So you're overcoming a lot of difficulties over here. If you have health issues, usually with the strength card, that gets overcome. But you know, you're going to have to be very, very focused and do something exceptional. You know, have to think outside the box uh, in order for you to get control of that situation. You've got the, star, the moon card over here, rather. You've been asking, uh, you know, for some divine guidance and how asking God for a hand so that you can make a new beginning around you you may have lost everything you know this woman is standing there naked um, and you've got a lot of mountains of rock over here so you you know you might be at an impasse in your life where things don't seem to be moving you're very upset very confused uh, and a bit depressed as well maybe you're looking a bit to the past as well about what has happened uh, so going through a, a you know a really um, you know a, a bit of a miserable fee period and also feeling pretty much alone here so you've got the Six of Swords over here, so it seems like you can see this woman's watching this man eating everything and she's not getting any off it. Whatever portion he's given her is so little. So there might have been some kind of legal circumstance that you went through uh, or a legal decision was made where you didn't get that payoff or quite as much as you were hoping to get. Uh, somebody else, uh, maybe due to greed or, you know, may have gotten the, the larger portion and, uh, you know, maybe whatever you, has come to you has been very little. So whatever settlement you seem to have gone through with that Six of Swords, uh, you know, uh, Six of Swords follows the Five of Swords. So there looks like there was a legal uh, battle that went on with the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords is, you know, the outcome of it. It looks like it was very uh, disproportionate, unfair, even though you seem to have done a lot of work uh, in that particular relationship or that particular, maybe even that job. Whatever the payout was, was very, very low, very, very small and very, very, very unfair as well. So uh, what you're hoping for, you've got the high priestess over there, you are asking for some guidance, you are asking for some information, some knowledge, and you're trying, uh, you know, to move on to a different path. You might be even thinking of doing some further study or training as well. Now, going into the future, you've got the stars over there, the four of wands and the hermit card. So the stars is about having hope for the future. You also might be a uh, Go in getting yourself a psychic reading as well because he's having his palm read here. Um, so uh, this is new hope coming in and this is a hope about money. You can see there's a lot of pentacles over there. Right now the pentacles are like behind this um, this roof so you can't really see them clearly. So maybe you can't see the money coming in very clearly at the moment but it is there. It is about to be revealed to you um, and maybe you know uh, you're trying to find out uh, the best route forward and you are asking for guidance. The, the star card is about being guided along the right path. 
So maybe you, right now you can't really see the wood for the trees here, but uh, you know it look it looks like it will all soon be revealed to you. And the card, the star card, usually brings in success. You got the four of wands. It looks like you know you'll be working with a group of people as well, doing a lot of communication. There might be a lot of travel. Now the people that you're working with all wear masks, so don't really. I, I, you know, I wouldn't really trust them if I were you. Um, there, you know, there might be there must be some deception going on over here. But all in all, you seem to work pretty well with them. You work well as a group together, building something as well with that four of wands, establishing foundations, strong firm foundations. And you know, the four of wands is about being victorious in a particular situation, uh, getting that stability. This could also be even about moving home, uh, changing job, relocating as well uh, to another country or you know somewhere else where you can establish roots and you've got the hermit card over there as the final card which is about uh you know focused being focused on your work even doing some further study or further training and becoming an expert at what you're doing uh, so you are very good you're going to be very concentrated uh, focused on your work uh you know it looks like it's going to be able to build you're going to be able to build some firm foundations and maybe somebody with that star card is going to give you a little bit of advice like this fortune teller giving this man advice about how to move forward and how to unveil that money to you so some kind of information coming to you uh for you in order for you to make plans for the future you need to you know get your mind uh, in order so get rid of any kind of negative thoughts with that strength card because if you focus your energies you are going to be able to achieve amazing things so try not to be depressed be a bit more positive in your thinking so i'm just going to draw some cards from the um animal tarot and that's for the oracle read so you've got Pretty good. The Prince of Summer says a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. Stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and head. So this could be in itself an offer that comes in. It could be a romantic offer, uh, you know, with this uh, frog over there. But it could be somebody bringing you an offer that might seem a bit irrelevant. It could be a job offer. Uh, it might seem like it's not going to be anything important and then it turns out to be the best thing you ever did in your life. So be aware that any kind of offer being brought to you, you should consider it carefully. I mean, this is a frog that's going to turn into a prince. But if you just saw the frog, you wouldn't really even bother to see it. Uh, so whatever this offer is, it's going to come in disguise as something else, but it's going to turn out to be something really good. So uh, keep your eyes open and uh, don't discount any kind of offers that come in. You've got the Prince of Autumn over here, so it's important to make a detailed plan before starting uh, your new endeavor. Once you have a plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible. So you're going to work very hard and bring in the money. Uh, with the Prince of Autumn, it's slow work, but it's going to be coming in. And you can see these coins are falling in one at a time, but they're accumulating. So you are going to be able to accumulate the money. And, you know, the Prince of Autumn is your card. So, you know, you are in your element. Whatever you're doing, you're very good at. Uh, and you're going to be able to start generating finances with that. And you've got the Sun card over here. Now, your plans will work out and bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. Uh, you are the... Um you garner the recognition for your accomplishments uh, you so richly deserve. So, the Sun card is about achievement after hard work. Overcoming obstacles, uh, transformation here. You can see a lot of sunflower card, sunflowers coming out there. And the Sun is there as well. Now, the Sun is you know a very positive card but it's going to take a lot of hard work so it might feel like you're working really hard but it seems like with that prince of autumn and the sun card it looks like you're going to be working extra long hours as well and that will generate money for sure and there's this offer that comes in over here that might be the thing that is going to allow you to move into something better that will generate this work uh, this uh, money but it is going to be uh, taking all your effort and take all your focus especially you've got that uh, you know, uh, the Hermit card as well. It's a card of work. Uh, Virgo is that card, uh, you know, where you will be focused and a lot of mental work as well. Uh, and you will receive some kind of news. You've got that bird over there coming in. So there's that offer that comes in that's going to bring you, uh, you know, financial success, but also it's going to take a lot of hard work. And you seem to be, you know, you need to let go of relationships or, or even, you know, a such situation, a circumstance not serving you, you're not happy and move on. And, you know, uh, you're thinking about leaving it behind anyway because it's holding you back 
Whatever it is, is holding you back and you need to move forward. So focus your mind and you can do amazing things and try to be positive. It looks like the hand of God is coming in to give you a hand there and a new cycle is beginning. So don't let depression get you down. So I hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.